Welcome to Tech Weather with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn about a dot create merge statement in Kusto. This uh, statement can be used uh, to create a new table or add a column to the existing table, or we can use uh, this statement to create multiple tables in a single statement. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look. First of all, uh, what we are going to do, we are going to create a table called customer by using the dot merge, uh, dot create a merge statement. Um, so this is how you will start dot create merge that's a uh, statement or command uh, then you will say table and uh, then provide the actual name of the table then you will have a start uh, uh, opening a small parenthesis and then a first uh, column name then you have colon and then a data type after that you have a, a comma then you will keep repeating for all the next uh, columns uh, so in my case uh, i have a uh, four columns right here and uh, i have put each column name on the single line uh, that's not necessary if you want to put all the columns in one line or break into single line that's fine for uh, readability now after that uh, what you can do you will say with and the doc string equal to the doc string uh, so in this case uh, this is a my customer table if you want to put your table in some folder then you can do that as well so in this case i'm going to put my table in customer data folder as of now there is no folder existing in this database so this is how you will create a new table by using the dot create merge statement let's go ahead and execute this statement and we can see the table should be created this is customer data uh, folder and under the folder we have a customer table these are the columns as we can see the same in the definition now if you would like to see the definition of this uh, table you can always say, say dot show table and customer that's our name of the customer table and then schema as json this is going to show you the schema of a customer table in a json so you can click right there and take a detailed look up so you can see all the column name, you know, such as the customer name and the type of the data it is using and then go for the next one. This is showing you in which database it is existing and then a folder and doc string. Okay, now what we can do here, we can insert some data as of now we have to insert ID, name, some address and then the age. So I'm going to say dot ingest in line into table and then actual table name then small less than sign and pipe sign and then i will just provide the list of those column data that i have to put in this table so i'm going to run these both lines together and it will insert a one row to check the data i will just simply write the table name select it and then run once i run i will see the data in the table now as we know that the dot create merge statement can be used to add a new column that's possible so this is how we are going to add a new column to the customer in this case i would like to add the phone number to it so in this case same statement what we have dot create merge table table name and then a list of the columns or whatever we had existing uh, in the table in uh, customer so it's same what we have there and then we finally added uh, the new column at the end of it uh, and if we want to change the doc string uh, we can change it if we want to put in a different folder even uh, we can do that as well uh, okay so in this uh, uh, take this this whole statement and execute uh, now this table has been uh, modified and uh, phone number been added to it uh, now let's take a look on the data again so go ahead and execute and you see that data is there nothing happened to the data but new column has been has added and the value is null or blank here now if you see there we wanted to put this uh, table in uh, customer data one folder that's uh, there and uh, it now this is our table uh, so if uh, there is a uh, folder and uh, that has no table the folder will be deleted in this case uh, when we created this table it was in the customer data now we don't see the customer data folder anymore because we have moved our uh, customer table to the customer data one folder that's why customer data folder had gone okay now what we can do we can check the definition of this uh, uh, table by using dot show table customer schema as json and then we should see at the end of all that phone number right there so see right there the phone number has been added 
Now we already have seen the data, so we are good. Dot show tables, what they will do, they will show you list of the tables, and here is our customer table. So see right there, customer data, that's a folder name, and this is our uh, uh, doc string, that's a descriptive information about our table. Now, if you are interested to create multiple table, that's possible. So how you do that, you will say dot create merge, and then you say tables and then uh, you will have first table and then the definition of that table then uh, you will have comma after that uh, and then uh, second table name and uh, the definition of a table uh, if you want to keep going for third and fourth and fifth table you can keep uh, doing it in my case uh, i am only creating uh, two tables uh, so i'm gonna go ahead and let me see if uh, i have already these tables there okay so i don't have customer asia i don't have a uh, customer europe so i can do that so i'm going to go ahead and execute this uh, statement and it should create two tables uh. so you can see that it uh, is given us uh, two rows uh. in this case uh, first uh, it's shown us the customer asia table and then in the second it is shown as customer europe uh. let me click on the customer asia so it is just saying customer asia table database name there's no folder defined there's no doc string defined so if we wanted to define we could have done it by using the same method right here but uh, we didn't do it so it's okay so it's not important to have the separate folder you can always modify to the and put in a new folder i have another video how to put the doc uh, your tables in different folders and uh, how to remove them from the folders as well so watch that video so we can run a show tables and it will give you the list of the tables and the customer Asia and customer Europe is right there. Also, you can see right the, them on the right here on the left side in the tables pan where we see the list of the tables. So this is how you will use the dot create merge statement to create table, add a column to the existing table or create multiple tables in single statement. So thank you very much. I hope this video will help. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.